Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Linux King. This is Salman Francis. And I know I was out for some time, but now I'm back. And this time with DevOps. So we will start small, but we will go big. So the thing, the plan is to go with some very basic stuff uh, of DevOps. And by DevOps, I mean like the operation side, because I'm not a developer. So I will be creating videos regarding the operation sites which uh, includes uh, like dockers kubernetes uh, ansible uh, jenkins and like different uh, things which are related to operations so just bear with me i'm also learning these things and i want you to learn with me so without further ado let's start and in today's video we will start with dockers so what is docker and as per the wiki and as per some definitions which I gathered from the internet and from some of my learning experience, so Docker is an open source project that allows different applications to run in containers. So it basically packages the application along with its dependencies so that it can run on any Linux distributions. So this package is known as container. So the package which uh, basically uh, collects all the uh, application with its dependent uh, which is which uh, with its dependencies is known as a container and these containers are isolated and independent okay so what are the advantages so the advantages of docker is that it uh, these containers are faster than virtual machines uh, docker containers don't need physical uh, like hypervisor and hypervisor is kind of a hardware communication layer between the VMs and the physical machine hardware. So virtual machines, when you install virtual machines on uh, physical machines, they also need, uh, they are using the hardware which physical machines has. Okay, so this hypervisor basically, they are, this is the layer which is, which helps communicating the physical uh, machines hardware with the virtual machines hardware. Okay, so Docker's containers don't require their own guest operating system like VMs. So whenever we, we install anything, uh, let's say I have a virtual box or a VMware. So if I install any virtual machine on that uh, virtual box or, or VMware, I need to install a guest operating system. Okay, so like other than the base operating system, I all I will also need a guest operating system that will make my machine real real slow, and this is not in the case of Docker's Docker containers. They don't require such a guest operating system as we will look in our future videos. So basically, they only use uh, the base operating system which is provided uh, for them. Uh, like if I am installing Docker on my Linux machine, I don't need an other Linux operating system, especially for docker so they will run directly on my linux machine and they all only need uh, the docker engine okay so how does docker works so docker is a client server application uh, the client is called client and the server component is called daemon and they communicate with each other using sockets or restful api okay and the installation process is uh, simple but before we do any installation i just want to make uh, i just want to make it clear that we need to create uh, an account on docker hub and here is the uh, you can see the url it it's https hub.docker.com you can go there create your account i have already created mine so this site is important since it contains many docker images so let me take you to uh, hub.docker.com okay so I'm here on hub.docker.com and let me sign in Uh, 
Okay, so I forgot my Docker's ID. No, actually I haven't forgot my ID. It was um, some mistyping. So anyway, here you can see this is uh, the Docker's hub. And if we click on explore, you can see various images here. Okay. So just make sure you create account here uh, in hub.docker.com. Okay. Coming back to our slides. So now I assume that you already know how to install CentOS and if not, then please take a look at my other videos about basic Linux installation and configuration on my channel Linux King. So as always, we will use CentOS 7 for our DevOps training. So let's start on CentOS, issue the following commands. So first you need to make sure that you have at least minimum, minimal CentOS installation. I, I have already downloaded and installed the newer version of CentOS and I have not done anything, any installation on it. So let's uh, do step by step. So here is my machine. Okay, and I'm using basically a virtual box here. Uh, sorry, a VMware. And this uh, is installed on my VMware. It has 4 GB of RAM, this virtual machine, and has 20 GB of space and dual processors, two processors. So, so in order to install Docker's, let's first install our yum-y install epel dash release like extra repositories just need to make sure okay good now we will issue the update command yum-y update Okay guys, so our system is updated now. And now we will install uh, some packages like wget, vim, curl, and net tools. So yum, fenwy, install wget, vim, curl, net dash tools. Okay, good enough. Now we need to install some more packages. Yum install yum dash utils device dash mapper. Then we will need LVM2. Then we need okay, so device mapper dash persistent dash data okay everything is good and now we need to add the doc docker's repository so Okay, so here's the we'll copy it. The funny thing is it's not letting me copy, but from here I will okay. <clears throat> so we'll copy it and paste it. So basically we are using yum config manager add repo. This is the repository and it will create as a docker 
dash ce dot repo so press enter and you can see here it's saved in our etc so let's check etc yum dot repo dot d and here we can see that docker dash ce repo is available and here is CE means community edition. So here's the base URL, GPG check, everything is good. All right, so I'll just quit. Okay, next next is we are we need to install the Docker's community edition. In order to do that, yum y install docker dash ce docker dash ce dash cli and containered.io c o n t a i n e r d <clears throat> excuse me okay once we are done with this we will start our dockers and check if it has successfully installed. Okay, so let's system CTL status docker. And at the moment you can see it's not started. So let's start it. I, okay, no errors and perfect it's running right now but in we need to make sure that it's enabled at startup system ctl enable dot docker okay good enough and get enforced right now my sc linux is enforcing so we just need to make sure uh, like we shouldn't uh, note down the current um, status of sc linux okay then we need to check the status okay we have already done that and now we will check if any process of docker is running and perfect like at the moment there is no container id or image or something but the thing is docker is installed and it's working fine so there we have it uh, for today's video we have successfully installed uh, dockers on our uh, virtual machine so in our next video we will take a look at how to install images in docker until that until that time uh, goodbye from my side and please do comment and let me know in uh, the comments that if you like my videos so thank you very much and goodbye